What's up guys, Bear Market Miner here. So a quick video for you today and an important one if you're bullish on Bitcoin and crypto in general. So Visa has announced it's now allowing withdrawals on debit cards in over 145 different countries. So let's have a quick read of this article and see what's going on. So here is the article courtesy of Cointelegraph. It says Visa enables crypto withdrawals on debit cards in 145 countries. MetaMask users can now sell crypto directly to a Visa card, which eliminates the need to use centralized exchanges, things like Binance and, and those sorts of places, which can often be time consuming. Sometimes payments don't go through, has always been a real pain in my experience. So it says global payment giant Visa is doubling down on cryptocurrency adoption by enabling another method to exchange crypto to fiat currencies without using these centralized exchanges, as mentioned before. They've partnered with a Web3 infrastructure provider called Transac and to introduce cryptocurrency withdrawals and payments through the Visa Direct solution. This was announced on Jan 30th, so yesterday as of recording. The new integration allows users to withdraw currencies like Bitcoin directly from a wallet like MetaMask to your Visa debit card. This is just going to make things so much easier. Um, available immediately, the integration enables one to exchange crypto to fiat and paid over 130 million merchant locations where Visa is accepted. So basically anywhere in the world, if you've got MetaMask or one of these other wallets, you're going to be able to pull your crypto out like it's nothing. So the North American director, Jan Nilsa Gonzalez Orr said, by enabling real-time card withdrawals through Visa Direct, Transact is delivering a faster, simpler, and more connected experience for its users, making it easier to convert crypto balances into fiat. The partnership allows users from 145 countries to directly convert at least 40 cryptocurrencies to fiat without relying on centralized exchanges. Some of the supported countries include jurisdictions like Cyprus, Malta, Singapore, Turkey, Portugal, and the United Arab Emirates, or the UAE, according to Transact's global coverage page. So let's see if we can find um, what cryptocurrencies they're allowing. I'm assuming these will be your more blue chip sort of coins, like maybe Solana, Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I couldn't find a list of these anywhere. I'm sure someone can find them. So let me know down in the comments if you can find it there. This is a major step towards mainstream acceptance and utilization of cryptocurrencies, which I think is is a true point. This isn't just hearsay. You know, this is going to bring more mass adoption, really normalize it for, for the people who are out of the space. And just bring a big bump. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a little bump based off this, but, you know, who knows. According to Gangwa, the collaboration brings significant benefits to users of decentralized platforms and wallets like MetaMask, Ledger, Trust Wallet, and others. MetaMask users can now effortlessly off-ramp directly from their wallet to the Visa card, which enhances the usability and practicality of their digital assets. According to Gangwa, the platform is involved in the integration as it holds licenses in multiple jurisdictions and ensures that the know your customer and anti-money laundering tech is in place. That shall be seen, I'm sure, but it is Visa. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if that's pretty rock solid. This enables Transact to verify the user and legally enable such transactions. One of the world's largest companies in the payment industry, Visa, has been actively exploring the use case of cryptocurrency in recent years. In 2020, Visa made the major move into crypto by partnering with the blockchain Firm Circle to support the USDC stablecoin on certain Visa cards. In September 2023, Visa rolled out support for USDC payments settled on the Solana blockchain as it continued to expand the support of the stablecoin. Well, it seems like they've done a whole lot more now. So I think this is pretty big news. Um, it's just going to make that accessibility so much more easy, adoption so much more mainstream. Visa's been sort of into this for the last few years, as I said before, and I think this is a pretty big step into, into the mainstream world. Being able to pay for things and, and sort of withdraw your cryptocurrency willy-nilly whenever you want without having to go through Binance, wait a long time for transactions to go through or get rejected, you know, fill out how many different forms of identification no matter how many times you use it. So it should be big, big news. So let me know your thoughts, guys. Is this something you're going to use? Are you using MetaMask already or are you using Binance exchanges, things like that? Let me know down in the comments. If you like the content, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.